He's a massive fan of winning, but U.S. President Donald Trump has suffered a huge loss in his first month in office. A federal appeals court has refused to reinstate his executive order, banning people from seven Muslim-majority nations entering the United States. Our Kim Hye Song has the latest. No travel ban, at least for now. In a unanimous 3-0 ruling, judges from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld a block from a lower court ruling that suspended President Trump's travel ban. The court rejected the administration's claim that it did not have the authority to review the president's executive order. There is no precedent to support this claimed unreviewability, which runs contrary to the fundamental structure of our constitutional democracy. In a 29-page order, the panel said the court respects the president's power but stated that the public also has an interest in free flow of travel, in avoiding separation of families and in freedom from discrimination. The ruling upheld a restraining order issued by a judge in Washington state last week after the states of Washington and Minnesota sued over the ban, claiming it was discriminatory and would hurt U.S. individuals, businesses and universities. But the legal battle is far from over, with the case almost certain to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. Shortly after the ruling was announced, President Trump slammed the decision as a political move, tweeting, See you in court. The security of our nation is at stake. Trump's executive order issued on January 27th caused chaos at U.S. airports and triggered protests across the country and the world. And now the legal battle between the White House and the courts is likely to only further raise the visibility of the highly divisive issue. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.